dear students welcome we are on the cec gurukul lecture and uh, today's topic is very important topic and we use in the daily life which is the one of the best electronic component that is the sensors sensor uh, these days used in many devices in many applications so this is the very important component in the electronic instrumentation so we start with what are the sensors you see on the screen there are the lots of sensors and these are used for the different purposes so these are a small devices that use in the electronic as a electronic component in the electronic devices you see there here we are having the lots of sensors like color sensors like gas sensors like ldr sensor so there are many type of sensors first we discuss what are the sensors and what are the classification of the sensors after that what we can have the preparation method in the sensor so first we, this term sensor come from the transducers which is a device which transforms the energy from the one type to the another type even both the energy types are of the same domain but it converts from one energy to the another energy so typical energy domains are mechanical electrical chemical magnetic optical and thermal basically mechanical energy can be converted into mechanical energy by use the transducers moreover similarly electrical energy can be converted into the optical or the thermal so transducers are used for converting the or transform the energy from one type to the another type the transducers can further divided into the two parts first is the sensor and second is the actuators sensors which monitors a system and actuators which impose an action on the system so transducers can be divided into two parts sensor and actuators sensors which monitors the system and actuators which impose an action on the system so sensors are the device which monitor a parameter of a system hopefully without disturbing that parameter sensors are used for getting the parameters of a particular system and it it gives the output in without disturbing the other parameters of the system like if we are monitoring the gas system if we take the gas sensors then it will detect the various type of gases the it depends upon the requirement which we we are uh, we just we want to get the parameters or would we want to get a result on the basis of that the sensors prepared so uh, this is the paradigm of the sensing system design you see in the circle first we select what type of sensor which we are preparing so sensor type sensor density sensor location and communication network architecture these are the center point on the basis of on the requirement by using its utilization its uh, the sensors are prepared like here we are uh, we are having that on the screen that the health monitoring and the system identification sensors are required so sensing system we required these are the parameters these are the type we can use here like modeling like uh, experiment we do in this uh, sensor we get the data processing moreover the parameter est estimation are required validation and correction in the sensors which we prepare and simulation is required for attaching the sensor with the electronic component and its utilization so these these are the paradigms for the sensing application sensing system now measurement how we do measurement the the basic important point of the sensor is the output so output play a many important very important role like we just give the physical phenomena to any sensor system then we can get the measurement output through that sensor system so out on the basis of output the sensors are prepared so interaction between the sensor and the environment surrounding the sensors and the compound response of the multiple inputs that we can also get the output from the sensor so measurement error is also there in when we get the output for a desired application then the system errors and the random errors are there 
So, imperfect design of the measurement setup and the approximation can be corrected by calibration of a particular sensor. So, the, so the sensor should be error free. Through calibration, we can remove the errors of a sensor system. Sometimes we have a random error variation due to the control variable that can also be reduced by the averaging. Because of the uncontrolled variables, the random errors can be generated in the sensor. So, that can be reduced by averaging. So, output plays a very important role designing of a sensor and it should be error free. Uh, the so system error and random error can be removed by correcting by correcting it through the calibration and secondly we can correct it by reducing its averaging next the definition is very important in the sensor sensor as the name suggests sensing device so that is a sensing device of a physical variable of a physical system or an environment that it, we can uh, we can sense uh, a sense variables or a system from the environment so and moreover there are a lots of definition of a sensor as it is sensing that sometimes it is known as a detector in general sensor is known as a detector what is the basic definition of a sensor where the, it is an electric electronic equipment that is used to detect and observe the physical activities, physically activities of any type like uh, we are sensing uh, the um, as we take the example of the gas sensor, the gas uh, the type of gas can be detected composition of the gas can be detected and moreover toxic gases can be can be detected through this sensor gas sensor so physical activity we can observe through this sensor and pass the notification signal to other other electrical control devices so that the further action can be taken and the result can be can be produced like a sensor that can sense that can detect and observe the physical activity and just pass its result to the another control system. So, sensors, the other in other words, sensor is an electronic device that can transform the energy from one form to the another form that is the same in the transducers. So, it is also the part of the transducers. The main function of the sensor is to identify and communicate with the physical quantities such as temperature, heat, pressure, distance, moisture, gas and so on. Like if we just taking the temperature of a system, then we use a sensor for that. So, the main function of the sensor identify its and detect the temperature at various point. Moreover, it will communicate the physical quantities such as the temperature, heat and physical and uh, the sensor used for the for converting the one energy of the one form to the another form. It provides the output in the form of the electrical signal to the connected control system. Basically, sensor sense the sense or detect the physical activity and it transfer this physical activity parameter to the control system and through the control system we can get the output through that sensing devices. So, here on the screen we are having that input that is a physical quantity sensor that is the detector that will sense the physically quantity for which it is prepared then the output that is the electrical signal we get in this sensor so by using the force source voltage sources and the ground we just use the electronic component connected with this sensor so these are three part input that is the physical parameters second is a sensor which detects these physical activities and we get the physical parameters and these parameters go into the electrical signal and that will produce the output the sensor is uh, made of the uh, uh, some semiconductor devices so it is a module or we can say it is a chip Sensor is also called a chip that observe the change happening in the physical world and send the feedback to the micro con microcontroller or the microprocessor. So, is this one of the definition. The sensor is also called a sensing chip, also called a sensing chip 
excitation power and the grounding must be provided to the sensor for the proper working any sensor the grounder or that that ground and the voltage is provided to the to the sensor so that the desired output can be get through the sensor and these sensor are are uh, connected with the microcontroller or microprocessor and these uh, which which gives the output what is the sensor again uh, there are numerous definitions like a sensor that uh, define the sensor as a input device which provides an output signal with respect to the specific physical quantity which uh, the basically the sensor uh, prepared on the basis of the application where we require these sensors so on the basis of that the sensors provides the input and the desired output can be get with respect to the specific physical input physical activity or input which is giving to the uh, which is giving to the uh, sensors the term input device means means that a part of a bigger system which provides the input to a main control system like input is giving to the microcontroller or a microprocessor another unique definition of the sensor is as follows that it that it is a device that converts signal from the one energy domain to the another energy domain and that uh, second energy domain is the electrical domain means it, if it taking the uh, parameter in terms of the temperature or in terms of the heat then this parameter converted into from the one from the one energy domain that is the heat and converted into the another domain that is the electrical domain it means we get the output in terms of the electrical signal as we give the input to the to in terms of the heat to the sensor the the that will sense or will detect the temperature or the heat at the, and, and it gives a particular physical parameters in the form of the output to the to the to the uh, electrical electrical uh, microprocessor or the microcontroller so that we can get the output the simple example of the sensor is ldr that mostly used in the laboratories that is a light dependent register it is type of devices where resistance varies according to the intensity of the incident light which is subjected to fall upon a material so when a light falling on the ldr is more resistance will less and the light is less so the resistance of ldr become very high we can connect the ldr into the voltage divider along with the other resistor and can check the voltage drop across the ldr this voltage can be calculated to the amount of the light falling on the ldr hence that is known as a light sensor because it detect the light falling upon a falling upon a uh, sensor so the variation of the light uh, means we are giving the high intensity or low intensity light on the basis of that output we are getting so this type of sensor is the light sensor that is the ldr that is the light dependent register and uh, what are the specifications required for the sensor sensor means we are getting the desired output in terms of the input so there must be the sense when the sensor is prepared so some uh, some points uh, are important for the specification of the sem- sensors number 1 is the accuracy like accuracy means what output we are getting through the sensor must be accurate so error between the result of the measure- measurement and the true value being measured it means if we we are just taking the temperature so true value of the temperature we require as at the room temperature what temperature we are detecting through the sensor then it should be accurate S- second is the resolution this is the smallest increment of the measure that a device can make resolution plays also important role in the preparation of the sensor that is the one another uh, specification for the sensor next is sensitivity that is the most important part through which we, uh, this sensor can be 
uh, can be justified. So, the ratio between the change in the output signal to a small change in the input physical signal that uh, must be very important. Sometimes there is a very little change in the input uh, and on that input change the desired output should be produced. So, so ratio between the change in the output signal to a small change in the input physical signal that give the sensitivity like uh, slope of the input and output fit line gives the input uh, what input we are giving and what output we are getting through that uh, uh, sensor. Next important is the precision or the repeatability. The ability of the sensor to the output and the same value of the same input over a number of trials, then we can say the, the sensor are working with the good precision. Like uh, first we have to check the sensor that the input giving the same output in many times. So that in many trials we check that the input and output in many trials should be the same that will give the repeatability or the precession of a any sensor. Precession is also an important for the sensor. Next is the dynamic range. Like, uh, like we are preparing a sensor for a particular application, so in up to which range it is working. It is not necessary that it will work for the all the ranges, but a particular range uh, is selected for a particular sensor. So, dynamic range which is the ratio of the maximum recordable input amplitude to a minimum input amplitude. How much input uh, we can record it or we can sense through the sensor that will be defined by the dynamic range. So, uh, like DR it will be 20 log and maximum input amplification and minimum input amplification. So, dynamic range is the specific, uh, dynamic range is also important for the specific, uh, specification of the sensors. Next is the linearity, how deviation of the output from a best fit state line for a given range of the sensor. So, uh, linearity should be there in the um, uh, preparation of the sensor. So, th in the specification uh, linearity should be checked that uh, the deviation of the output from the best fit straight line for a given range of the sensor. Next is the transfer function that will be defined through the frequency response that is a relation between the physical input signal and the electrical output signal which may consti which may constitute a complete description of a sensor characteristics transfer function give the signals from the input to the output and that will define the sensor characteristics so transfer function is very important as we give the input that will give the in the terms of the frequency response Next is the bandwidth. As we get, we are getting the frequency response. So, so we can get the frequency range between the lower and upper cut of frequency. Up to uh, the response, uh, it is giving uh, up to in 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 which range in lower and upper range we can select through this bandwidth within which the sensor's transfer function is constant gain or linear means uh, uh, the desired output we are getting through the input is defined by a frequency range that will be defined from lower to the upper range and the noise that is also important is a random fluctuations in the value of the input that causes the random fluctuation in the output value. Like, uh, like the random fluctuations uh, sometimes possible in the input signal. So, we prepare the sensors in such a manner so that the output signal should be uh, fluctuation free or the noise free. But sometimes uh, the input signal uh, gives the uh, noise, then the output signal should be clear so that uh, the output may be in the desired form. So, these are the points which are which which are used in the sensor preparation or the this specification should be in mind when the sensor are prepared. Next, next is the attributes of the sensor. What are the attributes when we uh, prepare the sensor on the when the sensor is constructed? So, first is the operating principle. 
embedded technology that make the sensor functions such as electro optic electromagnetic piezo electricity active and passive ultraviolet these are the operating principle on the basis of that sensor is prepared material is material is selected after that sensors after that the simulation done so these are the operating principle as the sensors are used in the embedded system so embedded technology that makes the sensor function such as that will be used in the electro optics electromagnetic system piezo electricity active and passive ultraviolets second attributes in the sensor is the dimension of the variables the number of dimensions of the physical variables are also the attributes of the sensors next attribute is the size the physical value physical volume of the sensor the size is also the important where we are embedding the particular sensor in a particular area so size is also an important in the uh, preparation of the sensor second uh, next is the data format the measuring feature of the data in the time continuous or discrete or analog or the digital that is also a Uh, that is also a specification that is also use uh, one of the attribute which data we are using like uh, next is the intelligence capability of on board data processing and the decision making the sensor in such a manner so that uh, the decision can be done through that it it this attribute must be intelligence so the the one time it can calibrate of the on board data processing and decision making can be done next is the active virus and passive sensors that uh, capacity of the generating and just receiving the signal at instant it can receive the signal so active versus passive sensors so attributes should be there physical contact the way sensors observe the dis disturbances is in the environment environmental durability will be sensor robust enough for its operation condition like we are using this in, uh, the uh, sensors in the water so that it must be it must be durable in the water so by using these attributes uh, the sensors are pre prepared next is the reproducibility is define the ability of the sensor to produce the same output when the same input is applied so and next is the repeatability it defines the ability of the sensor to produce the same output every time if number of uh, same number of time the same input is applied and all the physical measurement conditions kept the same including the operator and resolution the minimum changes in the input can be sensed by the sensors response time it generally expressed at the time at which the output reaches a certain percentage means response time should be very less and its final value the response to a step change of the input are there so these are the attributes in the sensing system thank you very much